Our top story, authorities in Newark are investigating a pair of car fires. They say the incidents happened Sunday afternoon along Barbara Street. Eyewitnesses tell us two to three young males threw flammable material into a pickup truck. Fortunately, no one was injured. We are less than a week away now from Super Bowl 46, and Big Blue is on the way to the Super Bowl. Giants players left the stadium earlier today, heading to Indianapolis. And Files 1's Barb Consiglio was there for the send-off. Continuing our team coverage on the road to the Super Bowl. The Patriots have already arrived in Indianapolis. Files 1 sports anchor Rich Barabi joins us from Indy and has more on the Pats' mindset. Rich, things are just starting to heat up. Rich, thank you. And Rich, of course, will be live in Indy tonight for our Giants Road to the Super Bowl special. Firefighters are investigating a three-alarm fire in Fairview. We're told it broke out Sunday afternoon on Franklin Avenue in Chestnut. Fortunately, no one was injured. The cause of the fire is unknown. Checking news around the nation. Only one more full day of campaigning before Florida holds its crucial presidential primary. And it could take the race to the White House in a new direction. Thank you. Finally this hour, a zoo in Syracuse welcoming five baby penguins. Over the course of seven years, 34 chicks have been born at the zoo. Hello, I'm Vanessa Tyler in from Megan Vega. This is Files 1 News Nighttime. We'll get to our top story in just a moment. But as you just heard, we're bracing for some real snow finally after dodging winter's bullet for months. Now, just what we're in for and when, let's go right now to meteorologist John Heyman in the Fios 1 Weather Center. John? So it's time to break out the shovels, but winter is no stranger to us in New Jersey where we're ready. Plow trucks and salters are set to hit the highways. Files 1 News reporter Kimberly Wallace visited Hackensack to check on preparations for this snowstorm. Of course, Hackensack isn't the only town getting ready for the snow event. Municipalities throughout the state are also gearing up, getting their plows and personnel ready to do some overnight road clearing. But be advised, the roads could still be slippery tomorrow. And this viewing reminder, you'll want to stay with us for complete coverage of the snowstorm. We'll begin our reports tomorrow morning at 8 on Files 1's Weekend Edition. Police have a lead in the hunt for culprits who almost killed a rabbi and his family in Rutherford. They firebombed their home and synagogue. Investigators have now released surveillance video and photos of a man who they think had something to do with it. Files One's news reporter Christy Duffy has more. A pretrial hearing was conducted today in a New Jersey case that has made national headlines. At the center of the trial is the Rutgers student who was accused of recording his roommate on video during his sexual encounter with another man. The parents of that student, Tyler Clementi, say their son was driven to commit suicide after that video was made public at the school. Files 1 News reporter Mariah Sparks was at the courthouse in New Brunswick and has details. If you're a New York Giants fan, or even if you know one, then you're aware that there's a tension building. Big Blue could be going to the Super Bowl again. That's if they can beat the 49ers Sunday evening in San Francisco in the NFC Championship game. Fios 1 sports anchor Rich Barabi is already there, and he has more on what we can expect come kickoff time. Welcome back. The battle for South Carolina is going down to the wire. For more than two weeks, it was Mitt Romney's race to lose, but now Newt Gingrich is on the front runner's heels, riding the second surge of his campaign. The suspense is building, leading up to the state's primary tomorrow. Tributes to a man with a vision. Hello, I'm Vanessa Tyler, in for Megan Vega. This is Files 1 News Evening Edition. Our top story tonight. It is a day to remember a man who changed the lives of countless Americans. Files 1 News reporter Kimberly Wallace is in Hackensack, where state and federal dignitaries came out to join a joyful celebration honoring the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. One of Dr. Martin Luther King's most important causes was equal opportunity for all. And in that spirit and in his memory, a job fair was held today in Newark, reaching out to all those who are still struggling to find work. Drivers across northern New Jersey are grousing about the recent hike in tolls, and now they're doing more than complaining. They're resorting to innovative ways to save cash. Files 1 News reporter Christy Duffy has more. 
Welcome back. And then there were five. The field of Republican candidates narrowed a little today. John Huntsman announced that he's suspending his campaign and throwing his support to the rival he's been attacking relentlessly. He entered the race as a moderate who many believed could pose a serious challenge to President Obama. But John Huntsman is leaving without ever making much of a splash. The blame game is intensifying in the case of that Italian shipwreck. Many officials are already saying the sinking of the cruise ship is the fault of the captain. The latest on the disaster now from Files 1's Mike Stevens. Well, that does it for this edition of Files 1 News. I'm Vanessa Tyler in for Megan Vega. Thanks for watching. Remember, we are your local source for news, weather, and sports. So keep it right here on Files 1. We are only on Verizon.